Vaigur Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaigur Ji Ki Fateh. Welcome to KGC News this week. There has been over 135 days of quarantine and the number of coronavirus cases in the United States just keeps increasing. Just this past Thursday, the United States passed 4 million confirmed coronavirus cases. Just 15 days, 15 days prior, it was 3 million, bringing the United States to the number one country for most cases, followed by India and Brazil. Even with that, the government is pushing for reopening schools all across the country. They may even withhold federal funding for those who don't reopen in the fall. Even the CDC is encouraging U.S. schools to reopen for in-person learning in the fall. They have given guidelines as to how to maintain social distancing within the classroom with, with any steps that could be taken to prevent the virus from spreading. Their new guidelines are meant to supplement rather than replace any state or local laws current currently regulating regarding schools. While keeping in mind the benefits of in-person learning, local communities are also being mindful of the new infections and their rates. As of now, the World Health Organization is saying that there are 25 potential coronavirus vaccines in the clinical trials internationally. One of the vaccines being developed by the Vaccine Research Center is to be entering phase three of testing next week. The trial will involve 30,000 volunteers that will be tested to see whether or not the vaccine protects the people against the virus. So what is the vaccine doing on the cellular level? There are cells in our bodies that are used to build proteins. It is called a messenger RNA. So there's a protein that is used to create the coronavirus spike in the body. The vaccine is going to attach itself to these cells that the virus would attach itself to. Once the immune system recognizes that these proteins are bad and harmful to the body, it will mount a response faster than if it was if the human was in contact with the virus without the vaccine. The vaccine basically acts like the virus, except it's not the virus, is a copycat. So once the body learns how to defend itself, it will be able to defend itself faster when the actual coronavirus hits. And of course, with the virus continuing to spread, we must continue to keep ourselves clean, meaning Every time we come home from going outside to get groceries, um, before we eat, after we eat, we must wash our hands for a minimum of 20 seconds. That would mean just reciting the moon mantra once to ourselves or saying, singing happy birthday twice or even just um, saying the alphabet. Thank you. In 2012, under President Obama, DACA, which stands for Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals, was established to protect the children who came to the United States illegally with their parents at a very young age. This program allows these immigrants who lack legal status to legally work and it protects them from deportation. In 2017, under the Trump administration, the program was put for getting disbanded, causing the hundreds of thousands of undocumented immigrants to be deported. Just last month, the Supreme Court ruled that DACA will be remained intact just how it was before 2017, and that new applications should be processed. Roughly 650,000 people are enrolled in DACA, but only those who were enrolled prior to 2017 have been able to renew. But the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services says it is going to review the court decision. Officials haven't stated whether they will be accepting new applications, but they have been turning back applications saying that it was missing information. If the president doesn't follow the Supreme Court's decision because he doesn't agree with it, it would be considered as a constitutional crisis. After the racial justice protests on May 30th, things got violent and it was taken to court. The judge ordered platforms like the Seattle Times and Como for News to hand over any unpublished protest images to the Seattle Police Department. He believes that the pictures and videos are critical to the investigation of the SPD vehicles and theft of police guns. There were some limits placed on the images to only be able to use the images to identify suspects and for no other small thefts or vandalism. The videos and pictures can only be from professional camera equipment, excluding any personal phones. A few days ago, Gurdwara Singh Sabha, located in Quetta, Pakistan, was returned to a Sikh community after seven decades. After the partition, the Gurdwara stayed empty for a year or two and then was converted into a government girls' school. The Gurdwara building was not damaged in any way while the school was in session. The Gurdwara was not returned to the Sikhs because there was a feud between the local Sikhs and the provincial government. Sikhs that lived in Quetta were happy to have their Gurdwara back and said it felt as if it were a dream come true. Malika Kua will be joining us on July 31st with her book, Faith, Gender and Activism in the Punjab Conflict. 
She is a writer and a lawyer who specializes in gender and minority issues. She has worked with victims of gender violence and has worked as a crisis counselor. She has very passionately worked with the community to raise the voice of those that have struggled. Through her lawyer law career, she has focused on helping families pursue justice as crime victims. Now for some sports news. Seattle hasn't had a professional hockey team since 1924, but the wait is over. This week, the NHL unveiled the Seattle Kraken, the newest National Hockey League team, named for the legendary sea monsters that some believe dwell in the Puget Sound waters. The first American team that ever won the Stanley Cup was the old Seattle team, the Seattle Metropolitans, in the year 1917. Many believe that winning hockey energy is still in the area, ready to be awoken for the 2021-2022 hockey season at Climate Pledge Arena. Vaigurjika Khalsa, Vaigurjiki Fateh. <laughs>